Cisco Certified Network Associate Day 1 What is networking? In this lesson, we will take a look at what networking is about, what kind of devices you will work with and the kind of network that is involved. Network Usage Networks are used for a number of reasons, one way or another. It's usually about sharing. The first one, information. We use network for applications like email or to reach certain websites. The next, file sharing. We need a network so that user can reach a shared network drive with documents, pictures and other files. The next resource sharing. We can connect a printer to the network that is used by multiple users. No need to connect a printer directly to each computer. The next application sharing. We might have users that requires to access same application. For example, a finance department with five users that need to access to the same bookkeeping software. Network can be as small as two computers that are directly connected to the each other or as large as the internet with millions of devices. Network hardware. To build a network, there are some devices that we need. Let me give you an overview with some of the basic hardware which we use. Host devices. Host devices are the devices that are used by end users. A decade ago, we mostly used the desktops computers, but nowadays we have laptops smartphones and tablets. Servers. Servers are similar to computers but have different role in the network. For example, when you check your email, your client is connecting to an email server to fetch your details, your emails. This email server might be used by thousands of users so it has to be available 24 into 7 servers use similar hardware as what you will find in computers but depending on their task are more reliable they have more ram with error correction use hard disks that were designed to be always on have more storage space and so on. The next network interface card. To connect our computer and servers to a network, there has to be some interface. We use NIC network interface card for this. In laptops, tablets and smartphones, you will find wireless NIC with radios or antennas. Communication links. There are different types of communication links and cables. On your local network, you probably use UTP, unshielded twisted pair cable. For internet connectivity, you might use DSL which uses the phone line from the telco or you have cable internet access which uses the coaxial cable like your TV. For long distance, for long distance links, a lot of fiber cable is used. Nowadays, we also use a lot of wireless technologies 
where we use radios, antennas and radio waves for communication. And the next switches. On local network, we typically use switches to connect computers and servers to the network, allowing them to communicate with each other. These switches can be small as the one below, something you might find at your home or small office, home office. A large enterprise network, you might find big switches that offers hundreds of connections for computers and servers. The next router. Routers are used for a number of reasons. The main reason is that they figure out what path used to get to a certain destination. For example, you might live in Delhi, but the email server you used to check your email is located in Hyderabad. Just like there are many different roads to take if you want to drive from New Delhi to Hyderabad. There are many different network paths to take in order to send our network traffic from New Delhi to Hyderabad. By exchanging information about networks between different routers, we are able to calculate a path to get to each destination. Routers can be as small as something we use at home or small business or as big as the routers that are used by internet providers like AT&T that handles lot of traffic. The next firewall. In a perfect world, we could trust everyone and we don't have to worry about security. Unfortunately, beside all the great things the internet offers us, there is also a lot of malicious traffic. Think of viruses, malware and hackers. Firewalls are used to inspect network traffic and drop unwanted traffic. We also use them to encrypt network traffic so that remote worker can access application on the company network in a secure way. Network protocols. There are many different vendors that sell networking hardware. There is Cisco, Zunifer, HP, Dell and many other. Somehow we can build network using equipment from different vendor without any issues. This is because networking is mostly based on standards. Even though the hardware is different, we use the same networking protocol pretty much everywhere. You might have heard of internet protocol IP. IP is a standard. It doesn't matter if you use a Windows or Mac computer, they both use IP. The same thing applies to a network devices like router and firewall. Networking tracks. In networking, there are number of different tracks. Let me walk you through some of most common ones. Routing and switching. Wise or IP. Wireless. Data center. Security. Everything I described above so far falls under routing and switching. This is about connectivity, connecting devices like computers, servers together using routers and switches, getting network traffic from 
one location to other locations the next voice over ip originally computers network were built only for data traffic and we used phone cables for telephony nowadays we also use the same data network for telephone with voice over ip we use ip phones that are connected to the networks and digital telephony system with calling rules we also have to make sure that voice traffic get preferences on the network or you end up with poor audio quality wireless not too long ago most networks only had desktop computers with wired connection nowadays a lot of users enter the office with laptop smartphones and tablet expecting connectivity for all these devices wireless networking means you have to understand how data is transmitted and received using radio waves and how to build a network that supports dozens of wireless users using hardware like access point and wireless controllers data center data center is a facility that houses up to thousands of servers there's air conditioning dust free free suspensions and everything else to ensure these servers stay up and running these servers might be used by millions of users all over the globe the networking equipment that is used to connect all these servers has different requirements compared to your average office network security network security covers lot of different topics here are some of things we have to deal with monitor network traffic making sure no malicious attacks are able to enter in your network block malicious traffic using devices like firewall encrypt traffic between network using vpns authenticate users before they get access to the network create security policies and ensure they are enforced the network jobs so for i described some of the components of networking and what kind of job are out there network engineer the network engineer is a person that is building and configuring the actual network for example in a small office network the routing and switching network engineer configures the switches and routers so that users are able to access the internet and some servers if you work at an isp internet service provider you will be configuring routers to ensure customers have access to the internet wireless network engineers do site surveys to see what kind of wireless performance they can expect and if there is any interface they configure wireless access point so that the users get access to the network to be able to configure these devices you have to understand the different networking protocols and learn how to configure them network sales engineer a network sales engineer requires both technical and sales skills you have to identify customer needs and requirements and be able to translate these into a solution with a different networking products system management networking is most likely about network traffic itself using a networking equipments like routers and switches to get traffic from one device to other devices preventing malicious traffic with firewalls and everything what about our servers and computers then what about our servers and computers servers have to be installed with operating systems like windows or linux we need to monitor our servers make sure they have enough ram and disk space when a hard disk crashes it has to be replaced 
user accounts have to be configured when where a new application may be it has to be installed on all computers in the network the management of servers and computers called system management there are different job you need to different skills for network management and the system management i am mentioning it here since something there is some overlap for example a network engineer that is working with routers and switches might have to understand how to configure the nic's network interface card of a server when connecting it to the switch in a small companies it's not uncommon to see that one person is doing both jobs in a large companies there is usually a separation of these jobs between system and network conclusion conclusions hopefully this lesson has given you a bird eye view of what networking is about the devices we use to build a network the different networking tracks out there and what a network engineer or network sales engineer does for a living thank you very much for watching this video